Welp, here's the DLing video. Old Jazz is gonna do it, and I'm doing it now. So that's that. Thank you guys for checking this out. I've never done a how-to video, so it might be a little weird. I tried to be as prepared as possible for this because obviously when I do beater boxes, it's just improvisational. You kind of have to go with what it is, but... <sighs> First off, subscribers. I think I hit like 800 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. Uh, I think the last time I checked was like 666, which is hilarious, but thank you guys so much. That's really cool and really confusing at the same time. So hopefully this video will be at least a little bit entertaining and kind of informational, I guess. So we're going to touch on the fact that some shoes end up getting yellow. A lot of common models that, that get yellowed are Jordan 5s, Jordan 11s big time. Anything with an icy bottom really over time will turn yellow and there's a there's a reason behind that. Science, that's why, that's it. There is scientific reasoning why yellowing happens. Over time plastics and rubbers when exposed to either UV lights or just oxygen in general they turn yellow and there's like I'm sure there's some kind of physics reason behind it, but it just happens. I mean, if you, it doesn't just happen with shoes. Like, go see someone that has an old school Super Nintendo, and I guarantee you their games or the system itself is yellow. There are ways to avoid it, especially with your shoes. If you wear your shoes, you're going to be wearing them outside. They're going to be exposed to sunlight and oxygen. It's going to happen. But you can kind of slow down the process by keeping your shoes in a Ziploc bag helps. I do it pretty, pretty often. So, as a matter of fact, I just got a pair of breads in my collection. Um, I actually won these in a raffle from my buddy Drone. Everyone follow him on Twitter. It's Drone Kicks. But I took the breads I won and put them in a Ziploc bag because, yeah, there's no really icy soles on these things, but there is the midsole there that can over time get to yellow. And I have, shout out to Drone, these, these are awesome. I do have a pair of the Broncos low SBs and you can see like the midsole starting to yellow. So, and that's just because they're out and they're in, they're, there's air and oxygen getting to them. It's gonna happen. So, Ziploc bags are a really good way to avoid it from happening. Sometimes when you get a pair of sneakers, excuse me, that have icy bottoms or, or elements of clear plastic in them, they will come with a little silica gel pack. Um, it always says, do not eat. Please don't eat it, but that helps. There's really easy ways to kind of keep up with it. Probably the most common if you want to do it on a weekly basis is just to use like some warm water and like or just any mild dish detergent and you just kind of take a toothbrush or a little brush and scrub scrub the midsoles or the ice and that, and that really does help. Matter of fact whenever I de-yellow any of my soles or anything I make sure that I clean the bottoms or wherever what area is getting worked on with dish detergent because they will remove any kind of grease or oil along with the dirt, but it's the grease and the oil that makes a huge difference. Like it's it's if you paint a wall, but there's stuff all over the wall, the paint's not gonna stick. And the same goes for any kind of chemical you're putting on, on your shoes, which kind of brings me to the next point. There are certain things you can use for like heavier duty to yellow one. Um, there's something called Soul Bright. I've never used it myself. A lot of people talk about this 40 volume cream. I've never used that myself either. What I use is a specific made for sneakers brand from Air Legends called Soul Sauce. It has hydrogen peroxide in it and some other stuff which, contrary to the reasoning behind yellowing happening, it actually reacts to UV rays and de-yellows or deoxidizes, you know, anything that it's touching. The only thing that stinks about this stuff is don't get it on your skin because it burns and then itches like crazy. And you also never want to get it on midsole paint or suede. It will ruin suede like that. It's, it's crazy. And I know this from experience, so don't do it. So to give you guys an example, like I'm gonna throw up a picture of the Space Jam dunks that I got in a beater box a couple weeks ago. So what I did was uh, use the soul sauce and I also used something called the Apollo light that Air Legends make. It does cost a little bit more. I personally had to invest in the Apollo light because I've lived <laughs> since I've been doing this in Cleveland, Ohio and Portland, Oregon, which are two notoriously cloudy cities. I don't see the sun much, so I kind of had to recreate it any way I could. Here's the old Space Jam, or the, the Space Jam dunks before I worked on them. And here's the new. You can kind of see, you know, there's some areas like around, around the edges where there's a little bit of yellowing still. But comparing the two, this is drastically different and much improved. And this will drive up the value of any shoe. 
penny pre-owned shoe like crazy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to de-yellow the 2009 Space Jams that I got in this most recent beater box, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so my head might be cut off in this, but it happens. So you guys remember I got the 2009 <laughs> 2009 Space Jams in my last beater box. So what I did to prepare the surface that I'm going to be using, like here's the here's the soles. So I actually cleaned this icy, supposedly icy area with just what I said earlier, some dish soap and some warm water and got all that stuff off there. So the only things you really need to de-yellow are whatever product you're using to de-yellow your soles. You could use a toothbrush or I use a tiny paintbrush because I think I have a better control of where this stuff goes and I can get in nooks and crannies with with this thing a little bit better and then you're also going to need some clear plastic wrap and then also you need some kind of light source which i'll show you guys what i use but it's really easy to do with this stuff and, and i want you guys to know i am not like endorsed by hair legends or anything like that i have just used their product because i've dealt with them before so remember don't get it on your clothes don't get it on anything especially your skin so you just want to take some and just kind of put it not too much you don't need a whole lot you just want to kind of put it in the certain areas you want it to go. And I may have done a little bit too much, but it happens. So watch the magic of video. this thing covered here so the thing you want to take is your plastic wrap this is where it can get tricky because you can you get you don't get one chance to put it on but the the steadier of a hand you have the better off because this stuff will move and if you have a fan a ceiling fan running it will mess you up again and again as I've learned from experience you just take this stuff you don't have to put it on like airtight but it helps so you just take it put it on there cover up whatever areas you have Give it a little bit of breathing room so that the stuff will stay in there. And I'm going to put it under my Apollo light and let it go. So the reason I use the Apollo light, as I said before, is I don't get much sunlight. If you decide to use chemicals and put it outside in the sun, make sure you take some kind of plastic bag or even better yet, like an ice pack and put it inside of your shoe because the heat from the sun can cause the can cause soul separation. I've never had it to me personally, it's just something I've heard of. But you just leave it out for about th or four to six hours. That's what I do. I do intervals, maybe one or two or three sessions of six hours each. Because of the space jams, I would assume these will probably take about three or four sessions. But you just rinse and you just rinse. You just repeat whatever you're doing there and soon enough you'll have icy soles and you go from what I had with the space jams before to this. I mean, this looks way better and it, it drives the value up as much as you don't want to admit it. People will see icy soles and they it's worth more to them so that can help you if you invest the right way it helps big time that's how you de-yellow or at least that's how i de-yellow there's a lot of tutorials on youtube and you can google everything too but um, that's personally what i do and it works for me again what i do might not be the right thing for everyone else I and mean, if you live in southern california you don't need to spend 200 and some dollars on an apollo light right? you can just throw them outside and use a nice an ice bag that's how i de-yellow my soles or deoxidize, whatever you want to call it. So informative, educational. I also mentioned that this might be a giveaway, and I say might, it actually is a giveaway. So here's the rules for the SB Mitch giveaway. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a different kind of giveaway this time. I said in my pre one of my previous videos it was gonna be a mini giveaway, and it is kind of a mini giveaway, but I decided to do something a little more fun. This is gonna be like any other giveaway I've done. You just go to the Jot Forum, Link below, or it'll be on my Twitter page, which is at SBXMitch. I'll have a link to the job form, and then I will do a drawing on randompicker.com to determine who wins. There's going to be one winner, just one winner. And you're going to be getting a... That's me drumming on my leg. You're going to be getting an SB Mitch box o stuff. What I'm going to do is go to the post office, grab a flat rate priority mail box, and just put stuff in there. I don't know what kind of stuff. I can guarantee you there's going to be a couple hype beast items, but there could be a t-shirt. There could be a hat. There could be a recipe for a casserole. There could be a gift card to Subway. Who knows? 
that's the fun. I'm pancakes coming in. You will not be getting pancake, but pancake will sign something for you. But uh, as soon as this video is uploaded Friday night, that's when the drawing starts. One person out of however many people enter will win the SB Mitch box O things, box O stuff whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what it's called. I'm just calling it that for the, for the sake of not knowing what to call it. This will end on Monday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so noon on Monday, and then I will do the drawing that afternoon, and the winner, winner will be contacted. So go to the Jot Forum link below, fill that out, and wait till Monday when I do the video. So that's how you or someone you know or someone you don't know will win an SB Mitch Box O Stuff that will be mailed to you, whether you live in the United States or internationally. This is this is open to anybody. That's about it. Everyone, good luck. Thank you for watching the DLing video. If you have any questions, please, con please contact me or leave some comments below. But until then, take care of yourself, take care of each other. And remember, they're just shoes. They're just things that go on your feet for aesthetic purposes that mean nothing in the end, right? No? Yeah. She agrees, she's just, She's too much of a diva. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for entering, and thanks for watching, and we will see you soon! And by we, I mean me and Pancake. Bye.